On May 31st, 2014, I had the pleasure to speak in front of some young people for the City of Tampa's Passport to Excellence event. In this video, get a glimpse of what they learned that day. Past due, 85 billion past due. 
And I'm telling you guys this because I don't want you to get into the situation that millions of people are in and they're not able to manage their debt. Okay, so you need to understand that. Now, there's a lot of information I can tell you about student loans. There's a lot of information that we can talk about about debt, but I'm gonna not give you all of that right now. I'm gonna give you two things I want you to remember when you go off to college and when you graduate. Remember these two things. Number one, do not take out private student loans. Don't do it. What happens when you take out private student loans? If you lose your job or anything happens, guess what, they don't care. You still gotta pay it. Federal loans should have different options for repayment. You have forgiveness options. Private loans you do not, so do not take out private loans. Number two, there is help out there. So when it's time to pay back your debt and you have no idea what to do, call somebody. Call me if you want. Call somebody and make sure that you're getting the information you need because too many people go and they default and they mess up their credit because they just didn't know what to do. But there's help out there. There's always somebody who knows how to do something you don't. So remember that. Now, there's flyers up here um, and I'll make sure you guys get some. Um, but I want you guys, most of you guys have cell phones. If you don't have a cell phone, remember when you get home or write it down. I want you guys to all take my number down, put it in your phone, put student loan and credit repair in there so that you remember, maybe it's a year from now, maybe it's 10 years from now, that you need help and you need somebody to call. And I want you guys to call me, okay? So if you have a phone, my cell phone number, that's my personal line, is 813. 528-1102, and it is on the flyer, so you guys can always take a flyer and make sure that you put it in your phone later. But I want you to have that information so you can get free information by calling that number. Okay? It's 813-528-1102. And you can save it under like student loan help, credit help, whatever the case may be. Okay? Now, let's talk about credit, okay? Who here knows what a credit score is? You guys know what a credit score is? Just a general idea. No? No credit score information? Um, All I know is the song. How good or bad your credit is. Right? Yeah, yeah basically. So the score is, it's a number that leaders use to determine if they want to loan you money. So if you want to buy a house, a car, if you want to get credit cards, you have to have a good credit score. It's very, very important. You cannot buy anything without a good credit score unless you have lots of money to just pay for it outright. So the key to credit scores is making sure that you're not late on your bills. Okay? You can't be late. You have to make sure that you only have enough bills based on how much money you're bringing in. Because when you start becoming late on debt, guess what? The banks don't want to loan you money. So when you're ready to buy that really nice Mercedes or Ferrari or Ducati or whatever you're into, you can't get it unless you have good credit. Okay, so remember that. Your credit score is imperative that you take care of it and you know, treat it properly. Now, there's tons of things that I can go into about the student loan debt and credit repair. I've been doing a, running a debt management company and I've been doing student loan debt and credit repair for over nine years. But we're not going to go into all of that today because you guys are younger and you're not going to necessarily need this information for another couple of years. But here's what you are going to need now. You're going to need to understand what mindset is. Now, mindset is very, very important. Do you guys have an, an idea of what mindset means? Anybody have an idea? What is mindset? What, 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 do, you, what do you think when people say, oh, well, you know, you have to think about your mindset and where you're going? Do you guys? That one specific thing on your mind is that you plan to achieve or something. Yeah, yeah, definitely, that's definitely part of it. So your mindset is all about how you make decisions, how you think about certain things, and how those thought processes affect your decisions, okay? So, you know, when we're looking at mindset, and we're looking at the power of mindset, we have to understand how to take information and use it properly. There's a lot of things that I can go into about mindset. You know, a lot of people, see a business person, for example, like myself, and they think a couple of things. They think, oh, your parents must have been rich. They gave some money and you started a business. It's not true. Oh, well, maybe, you know, maybe you gained a lot of money doing something else and then you started a business. It's not true. Maybe you were just lucky. It's not true. It's all about understanding that I worked hard for it. 
You have to work hard for it. You have to pay attention. You have to work hard. It doesn't come easy. Whatever it is that you want to be, whether it's an architect or a lawyer or a doctor, or if you want to start your line, or whatever the case may be, keep in mind you have to work for it, okay? I don't want you to think that it was just this easy thing that just happened upon me. Um, now, most of the things that I've told you today, I had no idea when I was your age. Nobody taught us about credit. Nobody taught us about being an entrepreneur, especially women. Nobody taught us that we could live our dreams and do what we wanted to do. I didn't know that. So you guys are getting opportunities today and will continue to get opportunities to hear other people talk about their struggles and talk about how they've succeeded as well. Now, I also want to talk about success, okay? Now, a lot of people have different views on what success is, okay? So success for one person might be that um, they have a really big house or a really nice car. Maybe they have a ton of money in the bank. Maybe they just have a really nice, happy family. Maybe that's success to them, just taking care of the mom and dad or their grandparents. We all have different ideas of what success is, but we have to understand that it's possible. And that's very important that we know that anything's possible. And that's a really big thing. Now, I have a shirt on today. I don't know if you guys can read. What does this say? Can you see that? Exactly. Always impossible until it is done. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Who knows who said that? And it's, a, it's tricky. Who said this? Adults can speak up to you. All is impossible until it is done. Who said that? I know my son knows. Go ahead. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela said that. Exactly. <laughs> and, um, so it's very important to understand that we always think that something is very impossible until we put the work in. When I was first starting college, I had my son already. People told me, well, you can't go to college, raise a son, work 40 hours a week. It's possible. It's hard, but it's possible. We have to understand that things are not as impossible as we think they are. Everybody has the same 24 hours of the day, right? We all have the same 24 hours. I didn't get more hours than you got, correct? Right, exactly. <laughs> so it's all about what you do with it. You can sit on the couch and watch TV all day. You can spend your 24 hours doing that. Or you can spend your 24 hours building your business, if that's what you want to do. Or preparing for college or studying for an exam. Whatever the case may be, you just have to remember that it's not impossible. Anything's possible. Look at Barack Obama. Anything's possible as long as we put the work in. 